And today we are going through a 2015 horror thriller called Even Lambs Have Teeth. The movie starts with two girls, Sloane and Katie, hanging out with some of their friends. After that, Katie and Sloane arrive at Katie's home. They are planning a shopping trip to New York, but they don't have enough money for the trip. They decide to take a summer job on an organic farm. Katie's uncle, Jason, who is a detective and he lives with his girlfriend Gemma, picks them up and the girls stay for a night at his house before going to the farm. The next day, Jason drops them at a station from where they will take the bus to the farm. Jason asks them to call him daily but Katie says that she will text him. Jason then advises her to send a code word at the end of every text which will confirm that Katie and Sloane are safe. He asks her to send him a different code word in the alphabetical order every day. Before the bus arrives, Katie and Sloan go to a nearby restaurant where Sloan uses the bathroom. After that, while Katie is at the reception, two local boys, Jed and Lucas appear and the girls sit down with them for a chat. Sloan and Katie do not tell them their real names. The boys learn that Katie and Sloan want to go on a shopping trip for that, they will be working at the organic farm. They offer the girls to drive them up to the farm. At first, Katie doesn't feel that it's a good idea but Sloan convinces her and they both go with the two guys in their pickup truck. On their way, Sloan and Katie notice that Jed has passed the road to the organic farm. They both start feeling something fishy about them and hold each other's hand in fear. Jed tells them that the girls will soon come to know where they are going. Jed and Lucas take them to their home where their mother welcomes Katie and Sloan. She serves them her delicious homemade pies. After a short while, Sloan and Katie find that they have been drugged and they rush out of the guy's home. Their mother commands Lucas and Jed to chase the girls before they make it to the highway. Next, the girls find themselves captured in red and blue shipping containers. Jed appears with a gun and he gives them clothes. After a while, a man named Boris arrives there and inspects the two girls. He finds out that Sloan and Katie have told them their fake names. He then checks Katie's phone and notices that she used a code word, Apple, at the end of every text she has sent to her uncle. Boris uses the same code word and texts Jason assuring that Katie and Sloan are doing fine and they are having fun. Gemma sees Katie's text on Jason's phone while working in the kitchen. Then, a sheriff named Andrew shows up with a gun and it seems that he comes to arrest Jed and Lucas. Sloan and Katie run towards him and ask him for help but it turns out that he is also a part of their team. He laughs and tells Jed that the girls are very attractive and it is hard to choose one of the two. Jed offers him that he can take both the girls. In the next scene, Sheriff Andrews comes out of Katie's container. Sloan goes inside to check on her. She consoles Katie and tells her that they will soon get out of there. Gemma informs Jason about Katie's text and he notices that Katie has used the same code word again whereas he had asked her to send a different code word every day. Gemma tells him that he doesn't need to worry about such little things. She tells him that the girls must have forgotten because of being busy at work. But Jason feels that something is wrong with the girls. A cigarette man arrives there to use the girls. He picks Sloane and takes her into her container where Sloane spits on him. He slaps on her face and then tortures her by extinguishing his cigarette on her belly button. Terrified Katie, hearing Sloane screams, sits outside with Lucas standing next to her. Jason calls at the organic farm and he learns that Katie and Sloane never showed up there. Gemma, who is about to leave for her mother's home, thinks that Jason is being overprotective toward girls. She tells them that Katie and Sloane are grown-ups and they will be alright. However, Jason apologizes to her and he tells her that he will not be able to meet her parents that day. He then leaves the house, saying that he needs to find Katie and Sloane. Right after that, we see that Katie and Sloane hear a very strange noise. Jed and Lucas cover the girls' faces as a man appears with a pig mask on his face. He chooses Sloane, forces her into the container, and shuts the door. Later, the man leaves and Katie goes to check on Sloane. She assures her that everything will be alright. Jason goes to the police station to file a report of his missing niece and her friend. Sheriff Andrews who works there learns that the girls did not show up at the farm and then they did not send the specific code word that Jason had told them to send every day. Then, Sheriff Andrews tells Jason that he will go to the farm and inquire about the girls. He also assures him that he will look into the case and he will let him know as soon as he finds Katie and Sloan. In the next scene, Boris shows up and he tells Katie that she shouldn't have lied to him about the text. Then he talks to Jed while Katie overhears them and she learns that they are going to dump Katie and Sloan outside the city as they did to the other girls before. He tells Jed that the FBI will be coming around to check that place. 
He also tells him that they will bring in new girls from the bus that will arrive the next morning. Jason arrives at the restaurant near the bus station and asks the receptionist a few questions. The receptionist tells him that he saw the girls with two guys and they were talking about an organic farm. He tells him that the girls seemed pretty comfortable with those guys and they went with them in a blue pickup truck. Jason asks him if Katie and Sloane seemed scared but the receptionist tells him that the girls were pretty excited. Furthermore, the receptionist tells him that the pickup truck had a bumper sticker that said, My other ride is your mom. Jason thanks the receptionist and leaves the restaurant. While both sit together in the container, Katie tells Sloane about what she heard Boris and Jed talk about yesterday. She tells her that she will find a way to escape. Then, Boris, Jed, and the cigarette man show up there. After a while, Jed and Boris leave to get more girls from the bus station but they ask the cigarette man to keep an eye on Katie and Sloan. Katie tries to ask the cigarette man about where Jed and Boris are headed to but he tells her that he is not supposed to reveal anything to her. Then, Katie lures the cigarette man and bites on his neck, killing him consequently. After this, Katie and Sloan untie themselves. Sheriff Andrews arrives there and finds that the girls have killed the cigarette man. He then sees Katie and Sloan flee in the sheriff's car. On their way, Katie and Sloan see a couple of young women on the road. They decide to take revenge on the guys who tortured and abused them. They go to a hardware shop and buy a lot of weapons to kill all of them. Jason arrives at a car insurance company and he finds out that the blue pickup truck belongs to Boris. He then asks for Boris's address. Boris comes to his home only to encounter Sloan and Katie who attack him and tie him to a table. He tells them that he will do anything if the girls spare his life. Boris offers them money but they kill him anyway. Jason arrives there and finds Boris dead while the girls take the pickup truck and leave. At the police station, Jason tries to call Katie and he discovers that her phone is in Sheriff Andrew's pocket who points a gun at him as soon as Jason turns around. Katie and Sloan go to a church and they find the man with the pig mask who tortured and used them. The man turns out to be a pastor who then gets knocked out by Katie and Sloan. After that, the girls arrive at a store and we see that the pastor has been tied behind the pickup truck. He recites biblical verses and threatens them to take his revenge. Katie and Sloane buy a few matchsticks from the store and burn the pastor to death. In the next scene, Sheriff Andrews captures Jason in a room and he tells him that the girls will find his dead body. He turns on the music and leaves the room. Then, he brings a couple of girls but as soon as he is about to harass them, Katie and Sloane knock him out with a baseball bat. They tie him to a chair and he tries to offer them money. The girls laugh at him and torture him with the gun. He apologizes to them but Katie shoots him in the head and he dies. Then, Katie and Sloane leave, telling the other two girls to release Jason. Next, we see that Katie and Sloane drug Jed and Lucas's mother just the way she did to them and then they tie her to a chair. They take her to a room where they have also tied up Jed. The mother begs the girls to let them go but Katie and Sloane kill Jed with the baseball bat before his mother. She cries and screams as she watches them hitting her son to death with the bat. The girls tell her that those people have turned them into monsters. Then, Katie and Sloane take her to another room where she finds Lucas. The girls ask Lucas to hit his mother with the bat or else they will shoot him. Lucas doesn't do this so Sloane shoots him in the head. Katie asks Sloane to get Lucas's fingerprints on the gun to make it seem like Lucas has committed suicide. The mother tells them that they will never get away with all this. Then she tries to lure them and she tells them the place where she has kept all her money. However, Katie picks up a cutter and kills the mother. Katie and Sloane feel very satisfied after killing their assailants. In the last scene, Jason arrives at Katie's home where Katie's mother says goodbye to Sloane and Katie as they are leaving for the airport where we see a man advertising the organic farm and the movie ends here. Thanks for watching guys.